Welcome to the Papa Rockstars podcast with Anya Bohm, where we talk about all things paparazzi, team training, suggestions, interviews with elite leaders, and more, all to help you grow and explode your paparazzi accessories business to rock star success. Hello, rock stars, and welcome back to another episode of the Papa Rock Stars podcast. My name is Anya Bohm, and I am your show host. Today, we're going to be talking about Facebook live video training. Live videos are all the rage right now. Facebook is showing live videos first in the newsfeed, and friends are enjoying interacting and seeing your beautiful face. But does the thought of going live make you break out in cold sweats? Let's talk about some things that you can do to prepare to research and plan out your live videos for maximum success. Before we get into that, don't forget to head on over to paparockstars.com slash Facebook dash live. So you can grab all of the call notes, everything we're talking about, print it out right there for you. You can review it. You can share it with your friends. You can also snag the call image that I have for you today. And trust me, you are going to want to grab this one. Again, that website is Papa Rock Stars with an S dot com slash Facebook dash live. Okay, now that show image I was just telling you about, it's really kind of hard to describe how beautiful it is in this audio program, but head on over there and check it out. It's a camera pointing away from, you know, whoever's looking at it. It has a beautiful paparazzi logo and it says going live. Now, this graphic you can use on Facebook to promote your live videos, to let people know that you're going to be going live a little bit later on so that they get excited and they know that you are going live and they're ready to catch that. Let's jump into the training for today. So very first, why are you going live? Make sure you have a purpose in mind for why you're going to go live. Are you doing a Facebook sale? Are you sharing about your latest vacation? Maybe you're on vacation. You want them to see how lovely it is. Are you talking about a huge achievement your team just reached? Make sure that you know what you want to share in your video so that your video stays on track and it's meaningful. You want people to be excited. You don't just want to be rambling on and on about things that are completely unrelated because after a while people are going to lose interest. So be sure to have a clear point in mind. Second, be yourself. Let your personality show through. Be professional, but not too professional. When you let your personality show through, your friends, your family, and anyone who might be watching, they're going to get more of a feel for who you are. They do business with people they know, they like, and they trust. By letting your true you shine, you are more relatable. It makes more of a personal connection and it makes it more likely that they're going to make a purchase for you or host a party or maybe even join your team later on down the road. So be yourself. Third, do your homework. Now, this is going to be the main part of my show today because this is how I have become more comfortable with live videos and how I continue to find new ideas to use in my videos. The first one, watch the leaders. Live videos are taking Facebook, Instagram, and Periscope by storm. There are definite leaders out there that are killing it in live videos. Take some time and watch the videos they are doing. Take notes on the things that you do like and the things that you don't like as much. These are working examples of what to do and what to do well. The second one is Food Network Star. Now, this might sound like a crazy tip, but I'm only getting started. I stumbled across this show, Food Network Star. Now, on this show, contestants compete for a final spot by cooking, doing videos, live videos, using social media, and learning how to present themselves on camera. The point is to find the person who will get their own show on Food Network. Now, as you watch some of these episodes, you're going to see the contestants doing videos, hearing immediate feedback from the judges, and they're going to talk about what's going to capture people's attention, what is going to keep the attention of your audience. Now, there is a little bit of drama because it is reality TV, but the feedback from those judges and learning what makes a likable, relatable TV star is priceless information. 
It is well worth watching. Watch a few episodes, take notes, and then implement those tips into your live videos. The next place, QVC. This is another place you can do some amazing research. QVC or other home shopping networks, the home jewelry network, like there is a lot of them to choose from. There is a reason why these channels are making money, why they have been making money, and why they continue to make money. There's a reason why the people who and the brands who get featured on these networks see amazing, explosive growth. They've been practicing and honing these selling skills for years. They know how to get you to spend $375 on a toaster that's going to make you orange juice and iron your shirts. The truth is, it works. Watch some QVC while you're doing like laundry or bagging orders. Again, take notes on what works. So one night I was doing some laundry and I took my own advice and I turned on the home shopping network. It was interesting to listen to the descriptions and maybe pick up a few tips. It was pretty interesting just to kind of watch, but one thing really grabbed my attention. It was an ugly, itchy looking horsehair poncho. It was something I immediately disliked and I couldn't believe that people were paying $350 for it. Now, I listened to the lady tell about the thread count and the available colors, and then the camera switched to this model who was actually wearing a poncho, and this is where the magic happened. The hostess said, Tina, didn't you just have a baby four weeks ago? And the model kind of nodded, and then she continues, can you believe how amazing she looks in this poncho? It hides all of that post-mommy belly, and she looks stylish and trendy. All of a sudden, in my mind, I said, I've had seven babies. I need that in my life. And this is when the alarm bells started going off. Only seconds before, I was dead set against this poncho. And then I was ready to pull out my credit card to get me an itchy, scratchy, ugly, overpriced poncho. This instant shift in my mind made me take a step back and evaluate what had just happened. The hostess had created a need in my mind. She had stopped talking about the thread counts or the possible colors. She had enticed me with covering the less than flattering parts of my body. By pulling in those personal details of her model, my mind made a shift too. It made a connection. Doing this in your live videos will make a huge difference too. Stop talking about the fact that everything is only $5, that it is nickel and lead free. Instead, mention that in passing and then focus on the why they need the items you are showing. It is the perfect way to complete an outfit. Is that right? Maybe it's a go-to accessory that looks great with any outfit. Maybe it's a pair of earrings that will work well with a pair of jeans or a little black dress. Highlight why they need what you are offering. Make that personal connection and you will make more than sales. Now, this is just one of just one of the things I learned watching a few moments of the Home Shopping Network. Can you see how doing a little bit of research can be super valuable to you in your live videos? Now, I'm not saying that you should become a paparazzi infomercial, <laughs> far from that, but you should learn how you can make your videos stand out from the other consultants who are doing live videos. Set yourself apart from the crowd. Fourth, timing. When you are doing your live videos, don't forget that we offer more than just $5 jewelry. During your live videos is a great time to sprinkle in information about hosting a party or joining your team. Now notice I said sprinkle. That means just a little bit of those things, not a lot. It doesn't have to be anything super elaborate, just a quick mention so that it's something they're thinking about or if it is something that they've thinking thought about, your quick mention might prompt them into action. Fifth, look professional. This is something that has been covered in several paparazzi trainings, but it is totally worth talking about again. These videos represent you and your paparazzi business. This is not the time to be sporting no bra or your PJs or your messy hair. Make sure to look nice. Put on some makeup and be extra sure that you're wearing your paparazzi jewelry. This 
is your business and you need to represent it as such. By looking professional, you are telling others that you're serious about your business, that you care enough about what you do to dress up and to show up. This goes a lot, a long ways with your customers. Nearly 85% of all communication is nonverbal, and you don't want to be judged before you even have a chance to talk about the jewelry or to show your customers the amazing pieces you have available. Be sure to let your friends and family and customers know that you're serious about what you do by the way you are dressed. With just a little bit of research and a little trial and error, you're going to be a professional live videoer in no time flat. Now give it a shot. Okay, time for the call challenge for today. Go live at least one time in the next week, whether it's your first live video or your 100th. Go live and implement one of the tips you've learned today. And for a bonus step, tag the Popper Rockstars podcast in the comments of your video. Thanks for listening. Have a rockin' week. Bye-bye.